Hi there, this is Zebo without the mask and welcome to today's video. So before we begin this video, just a short announcement to make. So if you haven't seen my announcement video in a cut above, feel free to go and see it. So in that video, I did some major announcements with regards to uh, the Discord, the giveaway, as well as the reasons why I was masking and why I am unmasked, right? So you guys will see my face like this moving forward. And uh, just before we start the video, I'm just going to continuously announce my Discord server in case you guys haven't seen the video. So the Discord server is uh, over here, as you guys can see, Zebo server over here. And then for the giveaway, it's really straightforward. So details is within the Discord server, really simple giveaway sponsored by LD player. So it's $100 giveaway and you're eligible as long as you do the submissions in my server. At the same time, even if you don't win the $100, you stand a chance to win a Nitro Discord giveaway. So if you use Discord frequently and you want a community to hang out, do feel free to join my Discord server with the link in the description as well as the comment section down below. With that, I'll see you guys around in my Discord server. Hello everyone, this is Zebo and welcome to yet another AFK journey video. So in today's AFK journey video, we're going to do a F2P account review or just a showcase of how far I progress with Z-Boss over here. So uh, this is Z-Boss, current power 1164,000. Uh, in terms of my progression, uh, this is the 14 day lock-in. So this is a 14 day checkpoint, two weeks into the game. In terms of uh, AFK stages, I would say I'm still keeping pace. We have quite a few people that have reached 1,125. So about 25 and I believe uh, 26, who is my guildmate, should be able to reach it in a few hours time. So from a few hours from recording, I guess. So uh, in terms of general progression for me, at least on this account, it has always been a top uh, four to five to six percent. So I, I'll say I'm keeping pace. I'm still pacing myself really well. And I really hope I get my OD Mythic Plus ASAP because that will definitely accelerate my push. Uh, like currently, I think per day, it's about uh, 20, 20 to 30 stages but if i do have mythic plus i'm confident per day will be close to 50 40 to 50 so definitely will speed up my progression a bit at least for this free to play account in terms of expert dollar i think it's uh quite easy to do the dailies uh i introduced a build for sylvina yesterday so you can use the sylvina build to do the 100 grave one today i'll be releasing another video which is the exodia build so that will allow you to do 100 wilders uh, the rest, I guess, just try and error play your way out. I think Expert Dollar is also quite a manageable uh, quest, right? A quite a manageable event for you guys to clear. So next one, we're going to talk about Primal Lord. I'm going to share my damage update. But before I move on to my damage update, maybe I want to do a, a unit showcase. So I think my team has never really changed too much from the previous time, except the fact that uh, OD got uh, Mythic, right? <laughs> and... Thorian got to mythic. Okay, so the thing that is really, really hilarious is that I actually put OD in the elite category, the elite hero recruitment, right? To to, to spin up to mythic plus because this was suggested in my uh, previous video, the meta, the manipulation, rate up manipulation, paragon slash supreme plus ascension shred. So that is to help to bring up core units like OD to uh, mythic plus ASAP. But... I keep on getting, I keep on getting Torrent in the PT. Like, I get Torrent in the early PT, I get Torrent in the normal, like, 30 summon PT. And then, like, Torrent is so close to Mythic Plus, it's like just one shot away, as you guys can see over here. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. Torrent is a good unit, and he's going to be very, very useful, even in the later part of the game. And this unit is also good for progression, but by no means he's on the same level as OD with the Mythic Plus weapon, right? He's good very very good frontliner the tankier he is the better in fact i think with him at this tier i managed to increase the pacing a little bit because uh, previously i think i felt like i was falling back five to six percent so right now i'm back to four percent so i think having torrent at this uh tier is pretty strong okay and once he gets his ex weapon he's gonna have more life so i think i'll have better results on croaker so the boss guy uh, for Yeti and Croker will come this week as well. So you guys can stay tuned for that. So that's for the unit introduction. The rest of the units, I, I didn't really bother too much to upgrade them. They're still pretty much the same. So not going to cover them too much. Then uh, that's for the unit side. In terms of um, my dear Primal Lord over here, let's just do a quick damage check. So for Primal Lord right now, it's like 4.3 million for this account. Um, the strongest team right now. Okay, so just, just, a, just a, I'll say like boss run update. I think this boss definitely got nerfed really hard in terms of the damage output. Like the damage scaling increase is much lower now. 
So you can easily survive with just a dual support setup. So I run right now a 4 Molar and Torrent because Torrent is a good uh, debuffer as well as a damage deal with the counter attack. And then at the same time, he's also one of my strongest units in terms of tiers, right? Mythic together with OD. Then the two support is obviously the Smokey, Omnipotent Smokey. We have Coco, uh, Coco as well. Then we have a Shakir for factional bonus as well as the Lupin Aura buff. So all these put together, I think in general, I just survive throughout. And basically my damage will increase as long as my units are increasing in level, as long as my units are increasing in tier. So with that, I'm just going to showcase one battle with this team, a very, very quick one. I, I'm also running Starshot Spell because I realized the 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 Iron War one was uh, good in survival, but since I was already surviving the full duration, uh, Iron War spell is not really like that important. Okay, at least uh, from what I can observe. Cause uh, right now you guys can see even when I'm using Star Shot spell, which is I'll say more offensive by nature, I'm still surviving pretty well. So honestly, I don't think you need uh, Iron War spell. If you can survive, just use Star Shot. Right? Star Shot is one of the better damage dealing uh, artifact that boosts your damage. So like I mentioned multiple times, you need to find a balance between offense and defense. And since the boss attack has been nerfed, I'll say quite greatly, depending on your tier, you gotta, gotta find a balance using the more offensive artifacts such as the Star Shot spell is definitely the better one. So this is how I boost my damage right now where I trip my 8 max damage of 4.3 so I assume it's going to be close to that range right 4.2 4.3 range. Okay. Okay 4.27 so that's uh, the second run for today. Uh, I think I really appreciate the 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 arcane essence the hero essence but well wow, the hero essence is really lacking in terms of uh, the current stage of the game so i'll finish up the last run after i end the recording so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i think in terms of progression okay before i end off i think in terms of all the general progression i just try to push as much as possible legend trial is around 20 plus to 30 and uh, in terms of dream realm and arena i, I sort of gave up on i'll say competing because like so many big <laughs> there's so many big boys here guys <laughs> this this these players are already near endgame account which is uh near my accounts uh leveling already right and and the thing is like i i really appreciate spenders by the way if there's no spenders the game doesn't last but as a free-to-play player on this kind of environment yeah there's just how am i gonna squeeze into top 100 <laughs> even the top 100 guy is like doing so much damage right now <laughs> so so I'm going to be contented with where I am right now and finish up all my PvE contents, okay? So take note, if you guys are free to play and you want less competition, switch your servers, okay? But uh, for now, I'll finish up this uh, series first and then we'll discuss how we move on from there. Then uh, in terms of Arena, okay, I think Arena is fine because uh, uh, Arena-wise, right, in terms of the rewards, we are one, two, three, four, five. Five away from legendary tree, and then six away from champion. Uh, if I, if anyway, even if I do manage to get to champion, I'll still be slaughtered because as champion, you're gonna fight with all the big people out here. So, uh, yeah, we we're not gonna we're not gonna win this right with with whatever we have. Uh, even with strategizing, I think I might be able to get more wins, but still, just in the face of sheer power is not possible so i i always sort of give up on arena in terms of competing same thing for dream realm just try to get as much rewards as possible based on my personal capabilities try to push as much content as possible with this rebuild account and then from there we will see right once we clear out everything what's the future for z boss on this channel itself hopefully this 14 day progression is uh you know something where you can keep track of and hopefully you are keeping up with the pace and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys